Logscape WitsML access. So the first thing you need to do is go to WitsML. It will give you a list of your WitsML providers or you can add a new one. You give it a name and you need to put the WitsML address in and your username and password and use the test button to test. If I go to this one, I can test it here and it should come back with, with OK and connect. Okay, so the next thing we do is that we want to access a well in the WitsML server, so we hit OK. And what Logscape will do, it will present if there's only one well, the only well in there, and then you go in and you select logs. You can add logs by using the Add button or use the Template button, which we're going to do here. And the Template button is going to choose all the logs in there and the two images. The next step is to add the actions and what we do here is we're going to add the log analysis so we go to actions and we can add the log analysis like so. Solver equations are added by simply pressing on the same button hitting add and adding the solver equation and in this case we're going to add porosity calculated from the density. Solver equations can be saved so we can just go and select our density equation then we can edit it and change the values within the equation. In the edit you can change the log and you can change the equation and you can change the parameters that are used. Alerts are added in by clicking on the alert button giving the alert an aim. So we'll call this sand detected and we're just going to use a basic gamma ray so it's a map log and we find the gamma ray, we can just type in GR. We select the gamma ray and we're going to set the value to be less than 50. So we just change it to so a value so that it's less than 50. We're going to set a range and what we mean by range is that we can say, I'm only going to trip this alarm if there is more than one meter of gamma ray over 50, uh, under 50 API. And once that's done we can open up the plot and we're going to go to the template and we're going to load our template so that we can actually see all the wonderful curves that we're pulling in. When a curve is turned yellow and you uh, uh, hold the mouse button down on it you can move the track uh, to another spot on the plot and reorder the, the tracks. You can add curves when they're yellow. We're now going to add the log analysis and we're going to choose a zone from an existing uh, default data set, uh, which is called WitsML in this case. And we're going to load it up and put it in. And that loads all the parameters and then we're ready to run the WitsML. And we just press the WitsML play button and we can run it like so and here we have the data it takes a little while for the first measurement to come in um, but the first thing you'll see in the bottom right hand corner is the alert popping up and then the data will be drawn and then so on and so forth and this will continue to do the analysis and display the data as the data comes in over time thank you